Holy cow, the grass is deep today. I'm telling you, with all this rain we've been getting, I mean, it is some kind of thick and dense, and it looks really, really good right now. Could not be happier with the yard. Now you look at this right here, and you can see this area right here looks a little different. See, that's kind of matted down looking, sort of. Well, I had about 30 people out here playing uh, family wolf ball the other day, and we would, we would have home plate over there, and you can see a little bit of yellow tint right there, and a little piece of grass where uh, that's where home plate was. Everybody was out here in the outfield, had a great time, really cool time. Didn't hurt the yard one bit, even with all that excessive foot traffic. This right here is what happens when you give your zucchini an incredible fertilizer like higher bricks. And it rains all week and you don't get time to come out here and pick anything. Look, uh, let me just do this. Look at that joker, man. Like a daggone overgrown turkey leg or something. Good day in the morning, boy. Gosh. Whoops. Why well, can clean some ice clock with that bad boy right there? Lord. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. Happy Father's Day. Before we jump into this, Green County Fertilizer's got a sale this week. Father's Day 2020. And the rest of this week, they're going to put uh, all the products on sale. I'll link that up in the description below. Uh, we're going to apply a full, non-diluted uh, rate of Humic 12 to my yard using a backpack sprayer. We're going to mow my hay field. Yeah, I feel like I got to get a tether out, man, I'm telling you. The grass is so deep, it has been raining all week long. Kind of setting my yard up for a pretty cool July 4th striping video. I'm going to mow my yard with a machine that you've never seen me on before. It's a beast. It's really, really big and it's really, really cool. And it stripes really, really hard because I've got one of those big league lawn rollers for it. I'll link that roller up in the description. I got a coupon code so you can save some money on that too. Hey, July 4th is right around the corner. We're going to celebrate that freedom. Man, I'm telling you, I love my country. I love the people that serve our country day in and day out and make it possible for folks like me to enjoy freedom. And hey, I got my first GCI t-shirt. Yep, it's my first GCI t-shirt. I don't have it on because today's Saturday. I'm mowing. I'm getting the shirts tomorrow so we can start shipping them out on Monday. It's a GCI Turf t-shirt, and then on the back it's got a big American flag uh, with all the different uh, branches of military and first responders represented. I'll link that up in the description below. You can check it out if you're interested. Hey, happy Father's Day. Now I'm telling you what a cool, cool day it is. I love being a dad. Nothing in the world like it. Uh, it is a joy, joy, joy to me. At the end of the day, being a dad is getting your kids set up for life. That, yeah, you're going to have birthday parties and you're going to have good times and bad times and you're going to uh, enjoy each other and you're going to not enjoy each other. You're going to butt heads and you're going to hug. All these different conflicting things within the, the cycle of, of having a family. But at the end of the day, for, for me, being a dad is preparing my kids for life. It's kind of like that Olympic athlete, right? They, they get out there and they train and prepare years up to that big day. Well, it's no different raising the kid. You've got them for 18, 19 years and you're training them for that big day when they go out on their own and they live life by themselves. And obviously they can always come back and get some advice and probably ask for money and some food and other things like that and we'll be there to do that. But at the end of the day, we want to get them set up for life so that they can be successful. It's so important to bond with them, talk to them. Me and our kids, my wife and I and our kids, we talk freely. We, we open and welcome all communication with our kids because see, when they're trying to learn something, they're gonna find out the answer, okay? And 
We don't want the world giving them the answer. I don't want the teachers giving them the answer. I don't want friends giving them the answer. I want the answer to come from mom and dad. Not because mom and dad's right all the time, it's because mom and dad are training those kids up in the ways of the Lord so that when they're old, they won't depart from it. Hey, look, I know Father's Day is pretty tough for some folks. Uh, my dad, fortunately, is still alive. Uh, some of you watching, your dad's not here. But look, I want to give you something that's going to give you strength today and help you get through Father's Day. I want you to know that you have a God in heaven that loves you so much more than your earthly dad could ever even dream about loving you. Put your hope and your trust in Jesus. Lean on God Almighty. Say, so get your faith right. I'm telling you what days like today, man, it makes it so much easier to get through. Just from reading comments and questions and all, I kind of take it as folks think that I mow my yard with that striping roller all the time, like constantly doing it. And that is not the case. I put the striping roller on when I am filming for a striping video. There is an occasion where I will put the roller on and mow the mow before the striping video filming. So what that means is I'm always mow my yard without the striping roller, except when I get to the, the, the day that I'm going to actually film the striping video, then I put the roller on and mow with it. But what happens is when I put that roller on, it enhances and makes those, those lines darker, crisper, cleaner, more defined, and they just pop much much better so hopefully that right there will eliminate any confusion as to whether or not Pete mows his yard all the time every time with that striping roller because I don't so deep I'm gonna actually put the bagger back on it and go back over and kind of collect some of the clippings because it it's really really deep so now you know how I do oh look balloons from uh, my one of my kids had a birthday party the other day now you know how I set the yard up for a striping video is one I'll mow it about two times in the same direction whatever the pattern is i'm trying to lay out i'll cut it two times like that without a striping roller and on the third cut then i'll put the striping roller on that's the day i film the actual striping video on a rare occasion that second mowing i'll use the roller too and of course you can't have a good striping video without a lot of cool mowing footage and of course some flyovers you know i love doing the flyovers and kind of showcasing the yard and obviously that is all about the big ball of goodness right so we'll see how it goes july 4th be sure and subscribe to the channel that way you can check it out so how many times do i mow before i change my pattern up well typically it's about three times again i'll design out my my pattern with my first mow with no roller go over the exact same uh, pattern the following week no roller sometimes with a roller and then that third mow that's when I actually put the roller on go over the same pattern the third week in a row and then I film and show you the video then after that I come up with another pattern in my head and start the process over so I just got done mowing look at all that I think that's coming my way should be a good thunderstorm or a little bit of rain to water in this humic. Oh, hear it? You better hurry up. You gotta remember, be really careful with this stuff because it's really dark. Look at that straight humic. Nothing but goodness. So I wanted to freeze right here and say one thing. I'm not in any way encouraging you 
to spray a non-diluted full concentrated rate of humic acid. Although it won't hurt the yard, you need to stick to the recommended rate, which is between six and nine ounces per thousand. The only reason I'm using it is it is the safest product I have that I can spray in full concentrated form to show off the pump on this spray. Basically trying to show off this uh, pump on this sprayer, show you how strong it is. Now down in the bottom of this jug, there's a little bit of goodness kind of stuck to the jug. I am going to put a little bit of water in there to, to bust that loose so I can get it all out. So all that fertilizer you're putting down and micronutrients and that kind of thing, when you apply the humic acid, it's basically making all that stuff more efficient and making it work as good as it can. And we'll top it off with some more concentrate mmm yummy look here look at there no trouble whatsoever Ooh. I better hurry up and I'll use this with my sprayer nozzle assembly so I can cover 8 foot of pass so it makes spraying pretty efficient I can spray my 17,000 square foot yard in eh, about 12 or 14 minutes roughly Add about five minutes to uh, refill. No issues whatsoever. I just sprayed uh, about 8,500 square feet in five minutes or so. Now, if you recently ordered a, one of these Strom sprayers or my nozzle assembly uh, last month, know that they were on a pretty extreme back order because of uh, the virus. But know that they are shipping these things as fast as they possibly can and if you order one now of course they're in stock now if you order one now know that they're shipping the back orders first so it might be a you know a week or so before you actually get it the shipping just is not as fast as it typically is uh due to that back order but know that they're coming and they'll get caught up and then the shipping will get right back to normal It'll be lightning fast like it always has been. Now, one thing I've learned over the years of using these things is when you're spraying, you get some uh, material on the wand and on the cap. And, it, and when you, as soon as you get done, if you'll go ahead and put a little water to it and rinse it off, it'll come right off and you're good to go. Something else I'll do is I'll rinse the inside of my tank out with water and when I'm using any friendly product meaning you know green punch uh, micro green green effect uh, humic acid RGS air 8 any of those friendly type products I'll fill it up with water and I'll dump it around a tree and now do you don't want to do that if you're spraying herbicides okay I don't do that if I'm spraying herbicides. Let me say that again. I'll repeat that process until I have nothing but water coming out. Now obviously you cannot do this during the winter, what I'm about to show you. But I will leave about a quart of water in my tank in between my applications. And that allows me to bleed out the lime, watch it change colors. That way I get all the material out of the pump and the hose, and it also keeps it primed for my next use. So now all I have to come and do is put my next product in for my next application, start spraying. All right, so that's pretty typical. That rain went right around us. It sprinkled barely nothing to mount to nothing. So even though we've had a lot of rain, I'm still watering this humic 12 in. I'm running these zones about 15 minutes per zone, and that'll be good. And, and the next irrigation. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Get on out of here. <laughs> oh, whoa. You're going to get wet. Uh, 15 minutes of zone, and... Lord, that was my daughter and my wife leaving. I done lost train of thought now. 15 minutes per zone, uh, just enough to wet it and get, get the material off the leaf blade and kind of wash it down in there a little bit. 
the next irrigation cycle, the next rain or whatever, we'll, we'll get it flushed in. This right here is a compaction tester. Kind of tells you in a way how hard the ground is. And you can see it's about 32, 33 inches deep. One hand. So I don't deal with compaction issues. That comes from years and years, well, eight years to be exact, nine now, of being super consistent on my lawn care program, using all the right things at all the right times of the year, and it, this is what you end up with. I got lawn care guides for both warm and cool season, and the guides are designed to, obviously they're step-by-step, -step, tells you what to do, when to do, how much to do of it, the whole nine yards. Stinking gnats are killing me. And it also, the, the program's designed to, over time, eliminate or get rid of soil compaction. Because, hey, at the end of the day, I think that's the whole problem, right? It's hard for roots to grow in a block of cement. That's a little bit of a rock right there. Pretty cool. Say so, hey, over time, if you want to get rid of soil compaction and, and, and get rid of that hard ground, if you want to feed your turf with high quality, professional grade uh, products and fertilizers and stuff like that, if you want to control disease in the yard, fungus, take care of the bugs, the insects, the grub worms, control weeds in the yard, crabgrass and all that kind of thing, Look in the description, I'll link up that warm season and cool season lawn care guide. And of course the cool seasons for fescue, rye, bluegrass, things like that. And then your warm season is going to be for Bermuda, zoysia, and, and grasses like that. So hey, I appreciate you taking time out of your day and watching the video. Again, happy Father's Day. Man, what a privilege and an honor and a joy to be a dad. Nothing in the world like it. We'll have us a little cookout here tomorrow with my dad and father-in-law and treat them to a steak and that kind of thing. So I got to tidy up and clean up and get the griddle ready to go. I made him chop that bad boy up right there and throw it on there. Say, so, hey, looking forward to July 4th. Thank you for watching. I'll check you later.